Okay, welcome everybody. So glad to be here and uh, we're getting ready to rock and roll. Um, I, I, we had more people that wanted to be on the Zoom room the last time. So i not sure if uh, this, uh, the Zoom link thing is, or it was last minute notice, but whatever it is, but whether we have two or 2000, I'm so grateful for you and to have you here. And for those that will listen to, to the replay, uh, if we don't have a lot of prayer requests, I'm just going to be doing a general, or if we don't have any prayer requests, which is possible, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a lot of prayer work anyway, and um, you're going to really enjoy it. It's going to be really powerful. So so uh, with all that being said, I just want to create a little context for the, the our time together. So who am I again? I mean, some of you people... Some of you people, well, I don't mean it that way, but some of you may be on my email list and not even know that much about me. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll just share uh, really briefly. So I'm Daniel John Hanneman, uh, and I, I've often been known as the blockbuster for the ability to help uh, break th people through their blocks that are really ready and wanting that. Uh, I can do that. So we have a prayer request coming in already for abundance. I love that. So thank you, John. And so on my journey, I've experienced uh, depression, anxiety as an empath, I, dealing with the energies and really being in a sea of picking up people's energies and negativity. And uh, I had to learn how to get myself centered into the light, into the center of my being. Uh, some of that came through learning psychology and becoming a therapist and all that and helped me help others while I was helping myself because I feel like that's what we're all doing. We're all helping ourselves as we're helping others. So I learned a lot of things through all that and got into metaphysics after I got my master's in clinical psychology and did a stint in sales to get over my anxieties and my introvertedness, knowing I had a force to be reckoned with to bring in the world, but I didn't know what to do with it. So, uh, so I did all these things, I became a therapist, got into metaphysics, and start realizing the power we have to manifest whatever we want and a uh, very powerful way. I've been known by some people that knew me, especially in the early days, uh, it's one of the most positive people they've ever met. So, you know, we realize as we uh, work with our consciousness in all different ways by being in the presence, first and foremost, but also that time it was a lot of positive thinking, a lot of positive, just treating the consciousness is what we talk about. And right now we need at a minimum, if you're not deepened into your presence at a minimum, let's get the, the, uh, the, the mental aspect going so that you're not caught up in all the, the heavy energy, right? There's a lot of heavy energy. It doesn't matter what your beliefs are. It's, it, it's going to be heavy on each side uh, of any issue that comes up, whether it's COVID, masks, uh, geez, whatever it is. It's like an energetic war, and all war is that lower frequency. And uh, we want to rise. We want to rise. Um, we want to rise within this time. This is a great time to rise. Anytime there is a sense of deeper contraction in our individual life or collective life, is a time to rise. As we know, as you've heard, I'm sure countless times, that it is in times like this that you know, you can actually, there are people that are leaving the planet at the same time, there are people rising, rising in their um, light, in the light, deepening in the light, bringing forth the light, rocking their sacred purpose to their next level. And if you choose to let that be your path, it will be for you. But you have to get to work on it internally within. It all happens within. And then the magic happens in our world. Of course, there are steps and actions that will naturally happen. But the first thing is the energy. The energy is what's creating everything. We're here to create an amazing flow of energy so that you can experience more healing and feeling more present, like everything's possible and everything's ready and happening starting today. So I'm grateful to share channel prayer as one aspect of go, you know, uh, working with the energies uh, with you today that's been a foundation, very deep foundation for me from the beginning and uh, ultimately allowed me to create a business, to be a healer and a coach that um, ultimately parlayed into uh, an academy for invincible healers that reached, uh, it's reached thousands of people. 
Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, but it reached thousands of people and empowered people to claim their gifts, claim the power of the frequency, their ability to gain new clients and to do their thing. So, you know, I did very well with that and, uh, you know, impact lots of people, made uh, a really nice living, uh, multi six figure business, multiple many years. And so uh, ultimately though, at the end of that rainbow, was uh, the pot of gold that is just deepening into the presence, letting light leaders, people that really want to lead in the light, bring forth the full visibility of all of who they are into the world. Knowing now is the time as we're waking up to share the awakenedness that we are with the world and our specific mission and our message and all of that, bring that forth, uh, knowing that there's some people that might listen to this that are looking to make a huge impact in the world, whether it's in education, healthcare, just in the consciousness escaping, um, so, so many different realms. Um, I'm here to support you to be an energetic key to allowing those things to be unlocked within you and being brought forth in the world. So I'm really looking forward and very joyfully um, here with you to share everything with you today with the, the prayer work. So the next thing I want to share with you is just that um, we are doing training on how to do the prayer work that has made a huge difference in my life. Um, here and more. Okay. So and it's all happening through um, my membership program. And I just want you to consider it. I want you to feel what's happening today and know that if you utilize a process like this every day, the sort of energy that I bring or in your own way, in a deep, powerful way, the difference it can make in your life could flip your entire life just utilizing these prayers. So if you're experiencing that today and you want to keep getting that for me directly as receiving prayers and also learning how to utilize these prayers for yourself, learning the, the, the way of setting them up so that you can experience the same results of joy and freedom. I have an amazing family life. I have an amazing life and um, I have my challenges like everybody else, but I experience my life is amazing. If you want to experience more of that, then, you know, get in with the membership. It's just $47 a month. It's um, not a whole lot, but it gives you a whole lot of uh, us. It is a whole lot in that what you receive is uh, a lot of a lot of teaching on meditation, prayer, um, deeper ways of connecting, connecting with your guides and your angels, and you get me. You get me constantly on the calls with prayer and channeling and more. So you get into this connected flow that's magical and um, starts allowing yourself to feel more vibrancy and gets you clear on what wants to happen next in your life, your business, your purpose. So you want to check all that out, I'm just going to drop the link in here and you also get um, or, you know, another email uh, about it, I'm sure, with the replay today. So I just put that in there. You can take a look at that now or a little bit later. Uh, but I want to just uh, remind you that you can get training on this. We're starting on Thursday. Thursday, we're going to actually do a training. There's already materials for you to read now the minute you sign up and then we'll get it in a you know, if, you, if you're a good reader, you know, you probably read it in 15, 20 minutes. But like the, then I'll do a deeper dive training starting uh, uh, tomorrow. And there's replays for everything, but tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central. So, all right. So that's enough on that. I might remind you of it later. Um, but today what I want to do is I just, just, I just love doing prayer work for people. So we're going to do one on abundance. I know everybody's looking for that. What do I know? I know people are looking for more abundance. I know people are looking for a sense of more um, probably shows up in their daily life is hope. I want more hope. So I'm gonna give you a dose of true inspiration and hope from a place of non, uh, less of uh, the concepts of uh, right and wrong. And, 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 and I heard people, you know, like very upset about um, something like in, uh, in politics, right? Kamala Harris, oh my God, I'm so happy. This is just a boost of inspiration. I'm so happy. I hear people like, oh, it's the worst thing ever or whatever, like, right? So it's like um, people are looking for inspiration wherever it comes from for them. So they look, we look into the news, we look into our news feeds on social media in our life. We're like, what's gonna bring me more of a spark of the divine? That's what you're really looking for. And it goes beyond, um, you know, we're over relying on outer things 
things to bring it to us. We're hoping things will change in the world. We need to keep bringing it inside of ourselves. Then that way, the things that have been affecting us, infecting us by um, the, the stickiness of their energy. When you're in the lower vibe energy, the sense of the negativity of the world uh, will have a stronger effect on you. It will take you down. When you're in a high vibration, someone can tell you almost anything and you're going to be, uh, quite frankly, you, you'll continue to just be in a high vibration, just be observant. You'll just be like, oh, okay, that's what's happening. And you may feel um, a sense of love and compassion for what's happening, absolutely. But it's there's no, there's no emotional charge. Um, uh, if that makes sense, right? So when you're high vibration, that's what, and so when we're talking about the evolution, the ascension of the planet and everything, that's the direction we're being called to go into. So more and more pain body, more and more negative messages, more and more world events, is actually calling us to go higher in the vibration rather than descending, descending into just low vibration. It is how calling us to descend in our energy in terms of landing on the planet as light leaders, and light workers uh, around the world have have continued to want to check out. Let's just go uh, up into the clouds. Let's just go somewhere else. You know, let's just go back home. So, but we, we go back home by de being descended masters, landing and grounding and being here. We're going to bring that to the prayer. And that's where the deep riches of abundance and wellness come within turning the lower lower chakras, turning the lower chakras on into the high vibe. So there's no more fear and pain body stuff. And am I worthy? Can I actually, you know, matter? Can I matter enough? Can I have enough? All of those things that typically get in the way for people. So we're, we're going to be clearing all that stuff up today. So you can experience more of this heaven on earth. So so I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to share with you. So welcome to the call as we've had a couple of new people come on April. Uh, oh, it's interesting. Oh, it's exactly the way my daughter's name is spelled. The only difference is you've got an E on yours. Okay. Um, and then Cindy, Cindy. So uh, grateful to have you here. Now we've got a prayer, one prayer request so far um, from, from uh, we got from John. So Cindy, Fabby, April, if you want to put it into the chat, that's fine. If you would, you know, rather talk to me, I think there's a way for you to, you know, signal me. I don't have someone to assist me on the technology today, but certainly if you hit in the chat box, you put in your prayer request, we'll make sure that we uh, go ahead and address that, okay? So, um, so that's, that's what I have to share just in terms of what the what I wanted to talk about is a context for the prayer. The prayer is here so that we can land your deepest intentions. And I, I feel the intentions that are wanting to be unfold for the collective and for you. We are here to hold that space and drop that in and and just say yes. Because when we're when we're invincibly a yes, or invincibly a yes for the higher good. Watch what happens. Watch what happens in your individual reality and in the sense of your collective reality. Everything can flip. Everything can flip and fast. So don't buy into the stories. Don't buy into the news headlines. When people say, well, well, uh, 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 Biden's going to save you. Trump's going to save you. Uh, this vaccine will save you. That'll say, no, your consciousness is your embodiment, your awakeness. If anything, and that's not going to save you, but it will. It will liberate you. It will liberate you, right? So that's that's the true thing we're looking for. All this other stuff is just temporary. Oh, we're happy there's a vaccine. Let's just say you were happy with a vaccine. Some of us are like terrified of the vaccine. We don't want a vaccine. I'm happy if there's a vaccine now. Oh yeah, our lives can get more back to normal. Okay, well, until something else comes up that you know throws things off, and then we're in the relative plane where we're thrown all over the place. We need to get beyond the relative plane of the effects that are happening. We have love and compassion for it. We bring prayer work to it when it shows up for ourselves and for others. But we continue to stay focused on the realest thing, which is we are infinite beings here experiencing the delight of source that wants to experience more, uh, more love, more a sense of the sacred hearts, more of the, the, the high vibe. And that's the opportunity for us. So I, I see uh, there may be some comments that were dropped in. We've got Cindy's request for COVID. 
on vacation and my niece may have been exposed to it, okay? Uh, we can definitely pray for that. And then uh, she went in for a test yesterday. We are waiting for the results. Uh, we are quarantined till then. Now here, now here is something that I want to share with you. This is very important. A lot of people say like, like okay, like this, like, oh, let's, let's, so I'm going to pray. So in other words, it doesn't matter. The storyline is, oh, she might have COVID. Okay, it's a storyline. We have to realize these are storylines. Even if there is a space, there's some reality. Um, you say there's some sort of reality to it. That's a, okay, fine. That, that, that in terms of sh get it, uh, shifting things into what really is wanting to happen, that doesn't matter. What matters is, is, is how does this thing want to unfold? What is, what is the greatest opportunity? What is the thing that would serve the highest here? Is it that there is a negative test? Then absolutely, right? So we're just, in other words, that this, this idea that this is happening just to eliminate the idea. Like, it's just a concept. Even if somebody has COVID, like, we literally can just wipe it out right now. That's, 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 that's the thing you're not going to hear anywhere else other than t teachers like myself, right? There's there definitely, definitely people like us, but the other headlines are so big. We have to keep tuning into this. So we're going to just do whatever we can to clear it. Just clear it no matter whether it's wherever. It doesn't matter not to give it any power. Next thing is yes, yes, believing for financial stability in a home uh, to call my own. Um, bless you for this altar. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes, it is like an altar, right? We're all, <laughs> everything's at all. It is. We're like at an altar. So beautiful. Love that. So we're going to definitely, uh, so about abundance, financial stability, home to call my own, uh, COVID. Um, and so when I do these prayers now, we speak in the I am. I, I will speak in the I am. Now I'm speaking in the I am for, I'll say for everyone listening to my voice and for those, of course, that you're asking for prayers for. Um, now, <clears throat> I don't always take prayer requests for other people. It depends on what it is. For something like this, absolutely. Uh, if you want prayer requests for people to have them be the way you want them to be, of course, I wouldn't take them. I hope they will be like this, like, you know what I mean? So we don't use it to try to manipulate other people. We take heart-centered prayer requests. We mostly focus on your frequency and what's going on with you, because that interconnects with what's going on in the world and for other people. Believe it or not, it's all... Um, some miraculous way it's all projection of what's going on for us at some level and and and, and it, it, it just miraculously works out the same for everybody else we're all looking at our own world right so how is what's happening <clears throat> with your niece um how is that something that's going on inside of you we address that while in a sense directly and, and really it's just me you know really so really all I'm dealing with on all these prayers ultimately is just me because you and all of these stories I hear are only a reflection of something going on inside of me. That's really true. And then it's true for everyone else too. So, so in that case, what we're really doing when we're doing these channeled prayers, I teach, I'll be teaching through the membership that we'll be getting deeper into starting tomorrow. I'm just focused primarily on focusing on clearing it within myself. And I'm focusing then on your energy as it relates to how it connects with me. So it, it's hard to kind of explain, um, but I just want to give you some context of how this prayer work stuff really works. So I've already given you a little bit of an idea of uh, some training of how this really works and getting into this um, awakened place where you start to realize everything that you've heard is true and even be more awake to it, that the world that's happening around us is simply a reflection of our consciousness, simply a reflection of our consciousness. The things that are coming up are things that just needed more illumination. They need more illumination right now. That's why they're intense. They're saying more awakening and now, and it's urgent. And that's why we're here today. Okay, so uh, Cindy says, I love April's idea too. Yes, and John says, I have always had financial woes, so I wish to help others get relief too, yes. So let's bring the financial stuff through the roof, right? Well, there's no reason for financial woes. Again, <clears throat> every story you could say, well, no, it's this, it's the economy, it's the poor people. 
it's the corporation. I mean, I got the government, all these stories. How many more stories do you want? Or do you just want the truth, your unlimited power, whatever it is you say goes, that's the thing that if you awaken, no one can stop you from being awake to that. Nothing, no, no one can stop you from being awake from that. Only when you let yourself go to sleep, we can all thrive and prosper. We don't have to live in financial woe anymore. And um, so we're gonna lay that on thick. Uh, Cindy and John, believing for increase for all areas of your life. Yes, and so it is. I'm loving this, uh, this chatting feature. And so this energy we are getting going, this um, dialogue we're getting going now, uh, I just wanna say like, yeah, I'll continue to do some, uh, some of these, these are kind of spontaneous when I decide to do these different calls like this, but we're gonna, you know, in our community, we constantly are communicating, we talk to each other even, and through the chat, and we're supporting each other, so you can feel the sphere of the power of this. So definitely check out that membership. I'm gonna just share that link one more time in case uh, it gets lost a little bit in the chat. Okay, so, uh, and if you wanna save that link, in case you wanna look at it right after the call, make sure you copy, paste it, put it in your browser or whatever, and you can look at all the details later. Okay, all right, so, <clears throat> so we've got a number of things. We've got financial stability, We got abundance, got a COVID clearing. Um, yeah, clearing the financial woes for all, all that stuff. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm just making some quick notes to remind myself, myself a little bit while I do the prayer work. All right, is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Last, last call before I go into it is for the next <clears throat> oh, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to go into a prayer and get my voice clear here. Clear now. All right. So <clears throat> for the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to be going on and on in the channel prayer, okay? And um, we're going we're gonna to start landing this stuff, okay? A home for April, please. All right. Yeah, the home, right? I, I remember that. Yes. The, thanks for the reminder. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Got it. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. All right. Increase in all areas of life, right? Okay. Great. All right. Okay. Great. So, <clears throat> here we go, folks. Get ready for ignition and take off. All right. <laughs> All right. So if you'll just go ahead, make sure you're somewhere where you won't be disturbed for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and just go ahead and get yourself centered. And um, if you want to, you know, I recommend that you close your eyes so you can just take it in. And um, and uh, and then this will be recorded. So, you know, some people like to take notes while I'm praying. I was like, no, you don't need to do that. You can always listen to the record. Just take it in, right? Okay. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. No. Okay. Do we, it's like we're taking flight. I'm like, okay, do we have an all clear? All right. We're on the runway. We're about ready to take off. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So here we go. So just follow my instructions and, um, Enjoy. So go ahead, take a nice deep breath then. In through your nose, up through your crown chakra, up through your higher self, up to low light source energy, up into the all in all. <clears throat> and as you exhale through your mouth, let this energy come back down through your higher self, down through your crown chakra, down through all your chakras, through visit body, through work field, down through your feet, down through your root chakra, down to the core of the earth. <clears throat> as I speak these words in the I am for everyone that listens to my voice, as I recognize God, love, life, source, spirit is all there is. I'm grateful that life is filled with the magic sphere. I know that I am fully, fully alive with source spirit. The source spirit is the aliveness that I feel now. Master Jesus is here with us and so many other beings, and they're here giving the, the love vibration, the bringing it into our hearts. They're, I feel the love in my heart. I know I'm whole, I'm well. The kingdom of heaven on earth, the kingdom of heaven on earth, the, 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 the heaven on earth is here now, <clears throat> and it lies in my being, in my deeper radiance and body, and, and it's un, uninterrupted, and it's invincible, and I'm grateful to be connected to it right now. 
as I allow myself to be connected with it right now, I know that I am that infinite presence that's in all of life. And it's connected into all of life. That is this one presence, this one power that I'm immersed in, that I know is here to, to, to bring and manifest whatever it is I'm willing to receive today. So I'm willing to say yes to the infinite love and health and wellness and the prosperity and the flow is unlimited. Source is this unlimited prosperity, unlimited flow. And I know that I'm ready to ground and land the, the good life of this energy right here, right now, knowing that it manifests in all particular forms of fashions that I am intending right now. And I know within this energy, it's manifesting easily. So I know that the highest and greatest is unfolding through it all now. So as I authorize it to be so, it's done and it's done now. I know there's no time and space. That time and space is just a pleasant illusion. If I let it be pleasant, I let it be pleasant illusion. A pleasant, persistent illusion, time and space. And I know my, my, my ships come in today. I know it's here now. It's energetically manifested now and it shows up in my world in its perfect timing, in its perfect way. So I say yes. I say yes to the infinite prosperity that I am. I'm letting it flow through my energy and my body and my chakras down to the core of the earth. And I'm experiencing the wholeness and the power of who I am and experiencing that energy circulating within me. You know, it starts right here within me. Knowing that within that, the particulars in the world start to be experienced in a new, it's, it's a new, a new, a new, a new in each moment, a new in each moment. Even a story from two seconds ago is an old story. I'm grateful to experience the newness of life right here and right now. I'm grateful to know that I want to go with the high vibe. I want to experience the unlimited nature of source God spirit within me because I am that. I am the love. I am the prosperity. I am the right place in the right time. I am divine timing and the right place is the divinity within me is planting my roots in, in a new place wherever I am meant to be I'm looking for this I'm saying yes to it so I recognize as I as, as I as I continue to speak these words and there I am for everyone here I recognize that I am exactly where I'm meant to be and moving on to and into the right place for me to live I know that it's happening it's already done it's already taken care of all the things on how it's going to happen and how it'll be provided for and how all that stuff will get moved Whatever it's going to need to be moved. I know it's just done. I can feel it. I can sense it. It's in the energy. The energy is what creates it. This energy is creating it. And I know that the ways and means just show up. It just shows up. I get to just show up for it and have it fun. I get to have fun. I get to just celebrate it. I just get to have fun experiencing it. It's exactly what I would imagine or even greater. So I, I experience it. I'm in that home now. And I know that it's done now. So I let it be done now. So I know that's true. I'm in the right place at the right time, with the right people, because I'm experiencing letting my angels and my guides and all the right people into my life. Because I know that as I open my heart to those beautiful spirits that I'm meant to be connected to in the heart space, that that community lies within me. It lies within me and it shows up in my life. It shows up. It's a Zoom call here or wherever I'm going. I just attract it. I manifest into my life. And with the right people at the right time, I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling nurtured. I'm provided for. I'm in my right home. I have the financial flow because I say yes. I am one with the infinite, unlimited abundance of source God. I can experience it through any numeration or variety. So I'm grateful that I am one with that. I am saying yes to it. I'm letting it manifest into my life in a perfect, perfect, in a perfect way. And I know that whatever that way is, I'm open to it. I'm open and available to infinite possibility for more abundance in my life. And I know that I'm already the unlimited abundance. And yet I let it land and manifest into the specifics into my life that would delight me, that would delight me, that would be the light within me. And yet I, I let myself be in that unconditioned place of knowing I am prosperous already. I am one with that. I am already infinite prosperity. I am that now. I'm a 10 out of 10 in wealth. It's now, it's always now, it's not another time. And when I realize it's here already, I get to experience and then it adds on to me. Financial stability and growth and opportunity, the end of financial woes in the world. They're eliminated because there's innovation, there's creativity within the sense of, oh, but that went down, this is falling down. There's innovation, there's creativity, there's more opportunities, more, more opportunities 
opportunities for people to serve and love each other that are happening, that have become urgent. And, when, and then I'm saying yes to that. I'm saying yes to people being inspired. Yes to me being inspired and new opportunities to thrive and prosper in the ways that feel true for me. And I'm unwavering in my saying yes. I will have this prosperity in the way that I have been. Uh, this keeps coming to me. I say yes to it. I'll have that abundance. And I let it into my life. I know that it's happening when I say yes. I say yes to it. And I experience an infinite flow. And it fills, fill, overfills my cup. And I'm grateful to share and circulate because I know as I'm willing to receive, I'm able to allow myself to receive and give. And it's one flow, one flow of receiving and giving. And that is infinite. And then I'm filled with that money energy, filled with the money energy, knowing I'm, I'm filled with the money energy that feels divine. And I know that it flows through me, through the entire planet. And every, every molecule of fiber of this planet has the greenery that it wants, the, the greenery of money or whatever denomination of money that it is that I want, whatever the colors may be. I'm grateful to feel the money, the vibrancy, that currency, that it's and it's the, in the gold, it's in the silver, it's in the Bitcoin, it's in the financial markets, it's in, it's in, my, it's in my pocketbook, it's in the flow and the sphere, it's in the magic sphere of gifts coming into my life. It comes in so many ways. The abundance is unlimited and limited support and help that I desire. It happens and it's happening now. It's here now. I have it now and it's already done. It's already here now. So as I let it be so, I'm already realizing this good. And I keep reaffirming this good into my life. No longer does anything else have uh, any hold over me in terms of sense of limits and poverty. No, I say no. I reaffirm and I know now that I am that unlimited prosperity. It is flowing. It is here. It is glowing. There is no hold on any old stuff. I don't need it anymore. I can just say no more. No more of that. No. No. Today, every time I hear the old lack thoughts, I say no. I say no. This is happening. It's here now. I allow myself to be absolutely clear about it and I feel it. I let it come into my body, my energy. I just, I just say it. I just let it, let it just be. I just let it be and I let it flow. From that place, I know that I'm experiencing unlimited wholeness and wellness and health in, in my finances and in every aspect of my life, including in my health. And I know that my health is whole and well. I'm strong. I'm, I'm, I'm filled with uh, the, the vibrancy of source that keeps me whole and well. I know that my immunity works perfectly well and that it's strengthening, it's deepening. And even during this time, it's strengthening and it's deepening. And I know it's a call to, to the unlimited wholeness and wellness that I am to be embodied more. So I just said, let it be embodied more. So that I know that by, for all these illusions and lies that keep coming into my mind and show up on news feeds, I know it's just my old thinking that's becoming, I'm awake and aware to it. Wow, look at these thoughts I've been having, that they're all right there. No matter what's playing in the world scene, it's a thought, it's a concept, it's a story I've been having somewhere in my consciousness. It's coming to light. And now I'm saying the good is unfolding through this. I'm done with this old programs. And I'm grateful that the world, a world that prospers and works for all, increasingly is the norm is happening it's flipping the flips the switch is flipping so that people on every continent and every child every every child that is what is every child of god every child on the planet is is nourished and given the love that it is and it starts with me loving myself it starts with me opening my heart to give and to share abundantly unconditionally in the ways that I'm called to, knowing I have everything I need and my financial abundance is strong and well. I know that the loved ones I'm concerned about, that they're, they're whole, they're well. No, there's, there's wholeness and wellness here. No, no, no more, no more. You're whole, you're well. The infinite power source God is there and that there's an opening within this being's heart to experience more wholeness because it's within me. And I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes to the wholeness and wellness within me and other people's lives because it is my life. I'm connected with them and I want to see the reflection of wholeness and wellness within me reflected in each and every person on the planet, including those that are close to. So I say just cancel, cancel the idea of this 
this, this so-called COVID program canceled. It has no hold, it has no power. The power source God is the health and wholeness and wellness that is within me, is within them, it's within every being on the planet. And so I say yes, I say yes. It's the source God is filling that, filling in because there's no more lack, no more fear, no more trepidation, no more a sense of otherliness. No, there's health, there's wellness for this individual for this person in my life for these people in my life for the world experience higher vibration of health and wellness on every level in every system i say yes i say yes i let it unfold knowing that yes the planet is being cleaned up yes the increasingly our brothers and sisters in the animal kingdom are being are being valued and revered and i'm grateful for this i'm grateful for this I'm grateful that it's unfolding, it's happening because I'm saying yes, I'm saying yes. I say yes and it unfolds into my life. So I say yes, I say yes fully, deeply and completely and know it's already done. No longer do the old ideas have a hold on me. I'm tuned into deeper truths, letting it guide and inform me every single way, every single moment of what is unfolding for the highest good of all because I'm saying yes to it. So as I let myself say yes to it, I know all is being provided I'm allowing this this entire process to deepen imagine a spiral of light flowing from the heavens flowing down through my higher self a few feet or several feet above my head along this energy a spiral of golden or white light flowing down coming down through my higher self down into my crown chakra opening me to the power of who i am that i am i am the joy the love the peace the health the abundance the the flow of source God is anointing me. It's coming into my crown chakra. It loves me. It it reveres me. It it's asking me to let go, to let go, and let the power of source the flow in my life. So I give myself to it. And my source God, Jesus, the angels, whoever it is, I sense and feel. I let their precious sweetness come into my crown chakra, down through my head, down through my neck and my shoulders opening down through my body letting myself breathe knowing that the divine really does have everything taken care of when i relax and let go and let it be so i let it be i let it come in and i know that the power of archangel michael is there too with the sense of decisiveness when there's a sense of wobbling and waffling i let the decisiveness of archangel michael to come in and the power of archangel metatron as well within the air within the light within the sense of the flow and the, the, the gentle peace and ease. There's the infinite power that clears out the interference and is, is powerfully doing that. Archangel Michael, Archangel Monotron, I call upon them to clear the interference in my energy that would be anything unlike the power of the divine that flows and manifests the highest all the time. So I let it unfold and know that health and financial stability and growth and flow is the norm for me so it's a norm for all because i'm saying increasingly so i'm grateful to say yes letting the increase be experienced in my life today from this place i know that i'm letting go of the sense of uh, letting go of sense of uh, i need a new, i need to be better i need to be something else i i am the wholeness and wellness and the perfection of source god today I am that and I've always have been in every moment. And so I will wake up to it. I am fully prospering and whole and well. And I have everything I need today to rock my sacred purpose, to be all that I already am and to share with the world. So I allow myself to know I can trust the download of source God channeling through me all day for a miracle zone of wealth, prosperity, health, and goodness and the increase of all great things. So I'm settled in to the home within me the home within me, the wholeness within me, knowing I'm exactly where I'm meant to be in each moment. I'm grateful for this, letting it flow through my third eye so I can intuitively sense and know exactly what I'm meant to know in each moment. It just it occurs to me because my intentionality lets it be so. I'm clear, I'm whole, I'm centered in a, a, a space of grace and pleasantness and joy and fulfillment. And I know that the highest is unfolding. I know that's what's unfolding in my life, for me, my world, and for everything. So I let it be so. I know that the, the, the flow is there. I'm intuitively 
a magnet to money. I'm a magnet to greater um, things in every area of my life, relationships, health, etc. And rocking my sacred purpose with my deep energetic gifts to see and to know what's happening for my clients, my family, and everything. No longer holding back on the greatest gifts I have to give to the world. I am anointed to say yes to utilize them fully starting now. So I, I say yes to my to, to, to this to this knowing, this calling within me to share my gifts in my next level, knowing it's flowing through my third eye and through my energies right now. And I'm prospering, doing prospering, doing my work fully and totally. I experience an increase now. I let this be so. I let it flow through my throat chakra. I let myself show up visibly to share the truth, knowing that it's okay to share the truth. I have this share whatever it may be. I share it from a place of centeredness, of love and compassion and empowerment for that which is most real, which is most positive, real and present and speaks eternally of the, the love and the goodness and clears out the nonsense within me and others in the most beautiful and powerful ways. Grateful to take a fierce stance for it and know that I can command my value by simply standing in my value and let it flow through my th throat chakra to say, yes, I'll have that and more. Thank you, God. I'm, be, I'm I receive deeply, fully, and I'm willing to be understood and heard starting now. I let my heart to open to the eternal sense that I'm loved and I'm whole and I'm well flowing through my heart from the, the all the way through my heart, both sides of my heart, all around my heart, knowing that that infinity symbol throwing, flowing around through my heart and it's around my chest and then back through my heart, it's flowing through me. I am that, I am the infinite. I am the, the magic of, of, of source God experiencing came, the kingdom of heaven on earth, the kingdom of heaven on earth. I'm grateful to experience it, knowing that this love brings me a sense of wholeness and sense of divine justice to, to all causes in my life. And it's now, and I know that it brings more good into my life and into these things that I have my heart connected to today. Sharing and bringing blessings and love and empowerment to the entire grid of humanity through the power of the, what I'm connected to now. I let the angels and the guides and the ascended masters and all light being the flow through my heart space connected to the eternal heart space for all flow now and experience its wholeness and wellness. The planet is whole and well, and so is humanity coming into balance and order and peace and divine justice. Thank you, God. More prosperity from this place. Thank you, God. And so it is. I'm grateful to be at home in my heart, home in my finances, home in my health, and home in how I relate to myself and all and everyone and everything. I'm grateful to experience this divine justice in my life today with love and compassion and reverence for all life, absolutely all of it. Not one shred do I neglect. I love all of it, knowing it's all connected to me in some way or another. I'm grateful to know that I meant to love it all. I'm bracing love it all, letting the energy flow through my power center, knowing I'm making decisive decisions today. That where I used to hesitate, I say, nope, I'm saying yes to that today. Nope, okay, I've had enough of the old stuff. I'll have this. Because I feel it feels right. It just feels good. It feels like it's empowering me in my finances and in my growth and in my purpose. So I say yes to it. I move all the way through. I'm not concerned about the, um, the, the immediate results are there. And yet I'm not concerned with the immediate results. I say that the results are happening one way or another. It's happening and it's happening now. So I say yes, it's happening. I'm experiencing the breakthrough. On, on, on gaining new, new business, new clients, new opportunities, whatever it may be, I say yes. New gifts in my life, whatever it may be, I say yes. I stand in my infinite power and be decisive and clear about what I want and say yes to it. And know I'm empowered to say yes. From that place, I let it flow through my sacral chakra, knowing like I'm, I'm ready to let go of stagnation and perfectionism and fear and insecurity. I'm grateful instead to to trust the natural flow of life that spontaneously wants to give and to receive and to just play all day long, to have fun and let this internal playground be as wide and 
open and uh, as expanded as possible, knowing as it grounds into the earth, it's manifesting naturally and automatically. Health and wealth are the norm in my life and the lives of others that I'm connected to because it is established in the field now. So I'm grateful to say that bless every being on the planet, even the ones I think are creating unwellness and evil in the world. I say no more, no more. This has no hold on my consciousness. I am unlimited. So is every other being on the planet free to experience. There is no power outside me that can control me or keep me down. No, no longer does it have any more power. I am whole. I am well. I no th nothing can take my joy away. I am the joyful child of God, experiencing my divine joy and bliss in every single way, every single day, and I say yes to it now, knowing it's unlimited peace, prosperity, love, and goodness, and health, and wellness for all, and it's happening, and it's all, it's the inoculation is happening around the planet, and all are coming together in the light, and I can feel it within the invisible realm, and it shows up in my life like instantly, as those that are coming together and all in this frequency. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Playground for all, joy for all, divine justice for all, from a place of, of play and love and spontaneity, creativity, innovation is unfolding from a playful and joyful place knowing all is magically unfolding, that there is no other power that can dampen it. There's only this unlimited power. All other power is, is, is absolutely null and void, no longer has a hold in my life. I am unlimited. There's no more power, the, a sense of an evil government over me or evil world powers. I clear that, I cleanse that, I say no more. I say I, the power lies within me, not somewhere else. Those, those plans are foiled, they are foiled. They no longer apply to me and those that I'm connected to in the world, it's done with. It's done with. The, the, the earth is ascending. It's, a, a, it's already a done deal. The dark players are only pointing deeper into the light. So I bless them. I thank them. I love them for that and say yes to that say yes. I say yes to the blessing. I let myself be whole and well in my emotions and my body and everything. I let my, this energy flow down through my root chakra, down to the core of the earth, knowing I am a descendant master. I'm meant to be a descended master here, bringing miracles and magic to all through my gifts, through my power, the essence of who I am, and I'm grounded in landing these financial miracles that are just ordinary, just ordinary flow, just happening. Flow is happening. Financial flow is just happening. It's filling, it filling, filling me up with joy and love and light and laughter. The qualities that I would desire to experience through the abundance, through the money, through the opportunities. I experience it now and let the let the money flow from there. I let it flow and it's grounding, it's landing, it's happening now. It's happening. The miracle sphere is gifting me all day long giving me the opportunities, clients, new business, new opportunities to serve and to shine and to share and to be gifted financially. And I know it's whole and well, and there's more where that came from eternally. And money is creative and it comes to my life in creative ways. And the energy of money is creative. And there's always more in there than what I think. There's always more in that bank account than I think, because it's what's inside of me. And my bank account is filled with amazing love and, and joy and unlimited supply. And it shows up in my divine bank account. And it shows up in how I experience my physical bank accounts and those, those such things and in my investments. And I know they're growing and exponentiating. And I get to see that magic happen. Knowing as I let it happen, it's happening with joy, love, light, laughter, and all the high frequencies because I'm letting it happen and it's flowing through me now, down through my root chakra, down through my lower chakras, health, well-being, and goodness for me, for all. No panic, no fear, only wholeness, wellness, and financial flow and all the good stuff. Knowing I'm at home with myself, I'm at home with life, I'm at home with money. I'm willing to be at home with money. I'm willing to experience money as love and goodness in my life through my heart, through my lower chakras, through all my chakras, and knowing that I'm experiencing the bliss of being blessed financially, prodigiously, and for all. So I'm grateful for health, prosperity, and health for all, knowing I'm at home with myself and all are coming back home now, and they're already here now. 
So as I say yes to it, realizing I've always been here now, I re remember, I reawaken and experiencing coming back home. I am so eternally grateful and share the good news with all and know that it's liberating all. So as I let it be so, I let it be done. Thank you, God. And so it is. All right. Okay, everybody. All right, your eyes have been closed. You can feel free to start opening them. April says, amen. All right, thank you. Amen. So it is. And hello, Jackie. All right, so I'm grateful for this time together with you. This is usually a good time to just, you know, just continue to experience this good stuff and let it soak in and um, let it settle in uh, after the call, maybe do some grounding and, um, and then take a look at the membership opportunity. Keep getting this infusion. If you're not part of the, the uh, membership community yet, uh, just click on the link I put in here. Make sure you get it now because this live is good. This is a live. This Zoom is about the Zoom thing is about this uh, end soon. So, but check it out if you want to learn how to um, gain more of these prayers for me, and also learn how to do it for yourself. We're going to do that starting tomorrow. All right. So, uh, Jackie, yeah, I'm so glad you were able to make it, and um, thank you, John, as well for being here. Thank you, April. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, everybody that's been here. And I just, I uh, bless, I just many blessings for you all. Much love, light, laughter, and goodness. And um, keep rock, rocking your sacred purpose. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye for now.